something ain't right. Wow. <laughs> Yo, my microphone was muted. You see what happens when I funk around with all my settings? This is what happens. Well, that's embarrassing. Um, we're gonna pretend that didn't happen. Hi! <laughs> okay, bye! I'm just gonna leave now. <laughs> Alright, I guess we'll take that from the top then. Uh, let's go back to buy cars before we move along. <laughs> so, the automobili, I was asking you guys if I was pronouncing this correctly. The Penin Farina Batista. Uh, let me know if that's anywhere close. Then also the Apollo. See, the Apollo is the VIP sale for this month. So 34 days, it's on about a 30% discount. And then this is the Spotlight car. Now, neither of these cars are, like, newly added to this game, but they are new to Forza Motorsports, the first time that we've seen them. I've never driven this car before. The Automobili Penin Ferlina Batista. I'd probably am way off on that, but I'm giving it my best shot, all right? So 129,000 credit discount, and hello... Everybody, pin in for Ina. That's pretty close to what I said. Pini I'm gonna say Panin because it sounds funnier. Panin for Ina. <laughs> Yo, the Cowboys, hey, gotta give them credit. They took care of business when they played us, not gonna lie. But there is that. I can't wait for people to watch this stream back and just literally watch me talking. And they're probably gonna be so fooled as like, is my video muted or something? <laughs> That'd be pretty funny, bro. But. Anyways, those are the two discounted cars. What I said in the beginning, too, is Update 3 has arrived. Can you believe how quickly it's been three months here now into the game? So, those are the cars that are on discount this week. Now, the other thing is we got to look at some of the other new stuff. So, uh, we'll go to Rivals next. Um, nothing's going to be new here. That's just open attack butts. We got some new things. So, Stage 2 of the McLaren Logitech thing, which I was mentioning earlier, I just ran stage one for the first time today with like two hours left, so that was interesting, but Hockenheim has arrived, and look at that, the AMG1, we're gonna get to run there for the rivals, and then this week's one week thing is the Batista that we just talked about, so we're gonna be going to Mugello, and we're gonna be taking a crack at that, and then we also have a new VIP one, which I ran all of the other ones, that just expired like literally just today so i'm gonna be posting those in the discord because gotta show everybody that's on my friends list what's up that day you know you already know but we're gonna take a crack at this batista just get a nice little taste of it and then uh the other thing that we're gonna do then there's only 10 people on this board but we're gonna go to career mode and we're gonna look at the new tours so there is a new open tour we might take a dabble in that so the other one expired now hopefully everybody got the ferrari but the new one is right here for the McLaren 650S. So that is gonna have about 28, maybe 35 days on it. It's like four or five weeks now. I think they might have adjusted it a little bit. But then we have our new featured tour. So don't fear though. As you can see, I slacked a little bit the last month, but the nice thing about this game is you don't have to have it all done immediately. It's not like on a one week timer. So we still have two more weeks about to get this done. Um, I believe it's like December 28th or something like that. It's somewhere around there but uh bro too so the server is open to like just pretty much members for the most part but i know you're someone who used to be a member so if you're not in and you want to be in i can certainly get you in there just send me a message just send me a message um i'll just pop it in chat quick you can add me as a friend but the server is not a public open server anymore so just uh just so you guys are aware out there but we're definitely going to run these back because we got to get the Sesto Elemento. I mean, let's be honest, this was the most voted for from the Lamborghini parade that we did, the digital event. Again, 60 years of Lamborghini is coming up, so I had to rock the shirt again. I still got it written on the board behind me. And we got the red and green lights because this is going to be that beautiful uh, Italian ingenuity here. So, oh, not at all, bro, too. Like I said, I used to be a member. Like, like I said, the server is mainly for current members. Former members are like super long time subscribers that I've known for ever. You know, I mean, it's a pretty small community. I'm keeping it small, but you know, it's just not a big publicly open server that like anybody can just hop into at any time. That's the best way to summarize that. But yeah, just like I said, just add me as a friend. Um, anybody that wants to could add me. If, I, <laughs> if I'm cool with you being in, I'll definitely get you in. If uh, you know, you're someone I don't know, I probably won't invite you. Pretty much simple way to put that. But we're going to be running that. Um, before I do that, though. I do want to see 
what we can do with this Rivals because we did it last week and it was pretty fun. So let's see what we can do here. There's probably only a few people on the board. There's 11. So we're just going to go out to the number one person in the world and we're going to see what we can do. 155 is what we're going for. So let's see if we can set the world record again. That's our goal here. So uh, apparently I have to pick one of these, huh? <laughs> I guess I'm going to go with the featured one. Why not? We'll buy it. We'll get into the garage. We'll do what we gotta do. Are we going to Mugello? And by the way, the other thing too is, um, you guys probably know by now, the, uh, oh, well, hello, but the thing that I wanted to pop up didn't pop. There it is. So the memberships that we have on the YouTube channel, they're also like through the Discord now. Like you can access them through the Discord. So it's another thing. Most members will end up in the Discord anyways, or future members I should say too but let's see if we can do it boys what do you think do you think we got it in me you better smash that like button don't forget to support the stream it truly does help but we're back here on another Wednesday for the new week's update and at least there's not as many cars this week it's a little simpler but by the way in case you don't know this thing has 1800 horsepower this ain't gonna be easy this is not going to be easy. What's up, Chinchilla? Welcome to the stream. What's up, Dragon? How you doing? Welcome to everybody tuning in. Let's see what we can do. Let's see what we can do. Oh my gosh, it threw me in here quick. I don't got my headset on. Help! Help! Yo, is this thing... I didn't realize this is fully electric. This looks like it's fully electric. Oh yeah, fully electric. 1800 horsepower, all-wheel drive. Oh my goodness. I don't know anything about this car. We're going to find out. Yo, does this have second gear? Yo, it tops out? Really? That's so dumb. Why'd they put us on a track that's gonna top out? Come on, man. Come on, man. Oh my good, oh my gosh. Bruh. We ain't getting any world records driving like this, boys. This was not what I was expecting. Not what I was expecting at all. <laughs> oh my gosh, it doesn't turn. We need tires, boys, we need tires. Yeah, this is like so quiet too. This thing is so quiet. All you hear is the tires start to screech when it loses grip. <laughs> this car does not turn. It does not turn. Nothing I do makes it turn. What do I got to do? Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, you see, he just, he fumbled it there a little bit. This thing doesn't have top end, it doesn't turn. I don't know, boys, I might not like this one as much as I was thinking. We're definitely going to need upgrades, I mean, that's what it comes down to. 100% going to need upgrades, but I'm trying to get this world record real quick. Because the quicker we get the world record, the quicker we can just get into career and not have to, you know... Oh my gosh, this thing is terrible. <laughs> I can't even keep it gripped to the road, dude. Alright, second lap, I will get this guy, though. I will get him second lap. There ain't no excuses. This thing's brakes are so bad, dude. I mean, it's so bad. Oh, wait, wait, wait. This is the world record, guys. This is, this is it. Come on, 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 come on. Hey, yeah. No, no, stop. Stop it. No. Okay, we got him. We got him. Wait, we gotta go check. Are we the world record holder? <laughs> Hurry. Hurry, get me out of here. Get me out of here. Get me the heck out of here. Hurry. Hurry. Rivals ranking bonus. Come on. Come on, just show me number one so I can get the hell out of here. I swear if somebody got in front of me, I swear. I swear. Yo! You! Ooh! That's it. Yo, do you see how close he is? Let me at him. Let me at him. Nope. Let me at him. Let me at this guy. Let me at this guy. Boys, we're doing this. We're doing this right now. <laughs> it's very fast. Yes. I think we found that out pretty quick. What's up, Larry? Welcome to the stream. Hello to everybody tuning in. I should have just ran one more time. I should have known better. All right, hold on. Oh wait, I can tune something? You know, I didn't even think about that. I didn't even look at the tuning. I'm probably not going to, but... Jeez, those tire pressures are high. 
Why are the tire pressures so high? I'm gonna try dropping them a little bit. Try that. See if it hurts or helps. I just hope I hope it'll help with the grip a little bit. That's all I'm going for. This thing is just so slidey, bro. Uh chinchilla, I would imagine so eventually, yeah. I don't see why they wouldn't. Alright, so we gotta get a good lap going in here. Definitely need to get a good lap. No, no, no. Are you serious? Are you serious? This thing is trash. <laughs> is that gonna carry over? Okay, well, I'm just gonna... Oh my gosh, you have to get on the brake so early. I don't even care, dude. Even though I made that fumble. Wait, it... Dude, did it really inherit? Why did it inherit? That is so dumb. There is no reason that should have inherited. It slowed me down, if anything. Dude, I'm... Oh, come on. Yo, anybody agree with me that that should not have inherited? That, that was way too far back before the next lap? Or was it really that close? I mean, I, I feel like that should not have been the case. But it's alright. This will be a practice lap. Because whatever I'm doing now, we're going to do better the next time. You best believe. You best believe. God, this thing's crazy, though. Oh my goodness. So much power. Yo, I'm so upset because I am gapple being this guy. <laughs> I'm seriously gapple being him. I told you all I needed was like a lap just to get the feel for the car, and I should have had it, man. I should have had it. Oh, I looked away for a second there, and it probably cost me. It probably cost me. Dude, I'm Gappleby. This is the world record holder? Man. I better, like, slow it down here a little bit. So next lap, it needs to be faster. That's not flagged, you know? Dude, we just absolutely destroyed that guy. Now we gotta do it again, though. That's the problem. <laughs> And I will, you best believe that I will. So much focus required with this 1800 horsepower monster that you can't even hear. No, 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 no. I'm definitely not running as good of a lap as I did the first one. That's the, that's the terrible part about this. This is going to be slower, but it's got to be clean. No! Oh my gosh. Dude, I'm so angry. I'm literally so angry that it flagged me on that last one. I was so good on that one. I'm probably not going to overdo that one, honestly. We're going to try again, though, boys. This one doesn't matter at this point. Just got to use it as practice. Man. This thing ain't easy, though. Whatever I did that last lap, I gotta do it again. I must do it again. I'm still, like, I'm kind of salty about that, not gonna lie. Because, like, it didn't affect the lap at all. It didn't help me in any way, shape, or form. If anything, I thought it would have hurt me, but... We know we can do this, though. The problem is the more time we waste, the quicker somebody else out there is going to do an even faster time. And then I'm going to be stuck here forever. Because we must. We must set the record, boys. We must do it. Alright. This is it, boys. Right here. Has to happen. Going full focus mode here. Must become one with the machine. AKA, I gotta be very quiet. Okay. 
Super locked in. Your boy's locked. So locked. What could possibly go wrong? Come on, Panine, come on. Come on. Come on, Panine. Yo, if somebody else is faster than me after this, I'm gonna be so upset. Come on, Panine. Come on, we're doing great so far. Honestly, we're doing so good right now. We gotta end this with the dub. We gotta have the dub, boys. We gotta have that dub. Come on. Perfect clean lap. Come on, yo, be faster than 153.7, please. Yes! Yes! <laughs> Our best lap, boys. We're done. We're done. Get me out of here. Get me the heck out of here. Yo, come on. Please tell me that's the fastest. Tell me that's the fastest. Number one. Give me the number one. Come on, boys. Come on. Come on. Let me get to career, please. Yes! Let's go! What's up, Darlene? Welcome to the stream. Oh my god, that's not what I want to do. There it is. Just take it in. Just take it in for a second. Your boy's number one again. Two weeks in a row. And it's not even close. 1.4 seconds. Oh yeah. That's what I'm talking about right there, baby. That's what I'm talking about. Alright, now get me the heck out of here. <laughs> get me out. Get me out of here. It's time to look at the tours, ladies and gentlemen. Time to get into the career mode. You guys got your times to chase now. GG's, I just want to thank all the people for being here. <laughs> hey, Jan, it don't matter. We're there. That's what matters. And uh, yes, it was Henrique, but it is new to Forza. It was never in any other Forza game. This is the first time it's been discounted. And uh, if you don't have motorsports, it's completely new too, because people who are going to be getting this for Christmas have never seen this car. I've actually never used this car yet either, so it's brand new to me as well. But it was in Forza Motorsport at launch, yes. I mentioned that earlier. Now, was I muted at the time when I mentioned that? Maybe. <laughs> but it doesn't matter, because we're going to Italian Ingenuity. And the cool thing is I have some parts for the car now too, so we might be able to put some tires on. But, oh, let me be quiet. Let me shut my mouth. are world famous for building true automotive fantasies. These specific models, with their advanced engineering, exceptional design, and extreme engines, are more than roadside status symbols. They are ready to race. I like the options here. What's up, Walt Matic? How you doing, sir? All right, what are our options? We got the Pagani Huayra, we got the Ascenza, we got the Venino, we got the F50, we got the FXXK, the FX, the 599XX, the FXXK Evo, the SF90 Stradale, the Batista. I understand why it shows up twice. I think, to be honest with you, my favorite car in here, it's... I mean, the Ascenza probably sounds amazing. The Venino I love. I'm kind of feeling Lamborghinis, but at the same time, I really think I should go with the featured car. <laughs> I think I'll have to make a poll and let you guys decide out there. Wow, fifth, uh, the votes are so even between the car. I have to leave that poll, actually, because that's too close between Hockenheim, the new track, and then the Penin Felina. Hmm. Mm. I don't know, boys. This is a tough decision. I'm not doing a Ferrari FXX because we those were spotlights before. The one was at least. If anything, it'd probably be like a Senza, Venino, or Batista. But yeah, it's kind of the theme here. The high ends. What other? What are the cars that I have? I mean, I just bought the Batista. See, the FXX was from weeks ago. I'm just gonna go with the Batista. Let's show off the spotlight car. 
I feel like that's the only good way to do this. Ooh, we on Road America, so we can go up to X class. Oh, I don't know about all that, boys. Well, what I do know though is I need to get tires on this thing. Definitely want some tires for this bad boy. So we can put race tires on. We're gonna need to get more points. Can I go? Oh, I can. I can go all the way. Definitely need the tires. I mean, that's like the biggest thing, right? So we got the tires. Okay, that's really all we can put that would be worthwhile. There's obviously no power when this thing's already, uh, what is it? Oh, you can do weight reduction. It's already crazy fast, so finish right there. More grip will be a beautiful thing. Absolutely beautiful thing. What's up, Sylvester? Hello, Donald. Welcome to the stream. Thank you guys for tuning in. So, um, yeah, I mean, there's really nothing we can tune anyways. Let's see how we do over here at Road America. I, dude, they better have Hockenheim. I was I was honestly expecting Hockenheim to be the first race in this tour. It better be in here somewhere. I was expecting it to be. I figured that was like a given. Yeah, but CP, you, you got to make sure that you um, Some curbs here at Road America take advantage of the discounts, though. You're probably right, JN. Are you guys all really that low on credits? I've like I've been saving up. I mean, do you guys just buy cars a lot? I guess because I I you know I haven't played nearly as much as some people have, and I have 10 mil, and that was after buying all the cars that were spotlights last week. <laughs> What's up, Jacob? How you doing? Welcome to the stream. But all right, we gotta I, I add my buddy over, so I lower the difficulty a little bit. <laughs> I think I'll do six. That's usually my like starting point to figure out where the cars are. If you were here last week, again we stream every Wednesday too too. Show you guys the new featured tour that comes through. There's also the open tour. So we might do like two races here. I'm hoping we see Hockenheim. Then maybe we'll do the open at some point. But there is a new open as well that just started. The Ferrari one is over. So the Italian one's over. Almost drank all my water already. Yeah, there was so many last week. So I, I can understand that, yeah. Whoa, whoa, how am I in a drift already? We just started. We just started, I tell you. Yeah, the tires did not help at all. We need race tires ASAP. Oh, my Lanta. Whoa! He wasn't kidding. I just went flying. We need more top speed, too. Is there a way I can get a transmission on this puppy? So that would probably be helpful. The tire width did not seem to really change anything. <laughs> so we're definitely going to want to get race tires, which means we're going to do this entire practice so we can get car points, so that we can get those race tires as quick as possible. And we got a little boost from doing the rivals. To be honest with you, I would suggest doing the rivals before you even come do the career, because then that way you can rank it up and you'll be able to get the points you need for, of course, doing this career. You need tires, that's all you need. I don't even think we're gonna get this thing to the top of P class, to be honest with you. Unless we do the weight reduction, which would be interesting. We might have to try that. Can also put a ballast, I bet you can downgrade it to R. Now would that be a good idea? I have no clue. I've not really f experimented with downgrading cars in this game. Not yet, I do it in Horizon 5, but yeah, the factory limit's kind of ridiculous. I'm assuming this is meant to be a street car to an extent, or it can be a street legal car. <laughs> if it's maxing out to that, because there's no reason this thing shouldn't be able to go at least 250. We're getting 10 segments, so that's good. You just have to, like, be very careful with the car. It, it's, it's not horrible. It's not as bad as you might, you know, think. And all-wheel drive, 800, 1,800 horsepower electric car would be. It's just you got to not overdo it you just gotta there's no forgiveness on the braking like you gotta brake on time or you're done you're just gonna start sliding just wait till we get those race tires though boys i'm telling you soft race tire compound in dry conditions will be very nice see so you're anywhere near the 204 oh yeah we killed the uh objective there so that's good i don't like how i don't have that top speed though that's bothering me. But can we talk about the design of this car too? It's actually really nice. It's a clean looking car. Try and show you the front. There's the front. I like the uh, active aerodynamic wing. The lights look fine in the back. I mean, they're nothing special, but they don't look bad. The blue's okay. I think a different color might suit this car more. Maybe like a white. I could see a white looking good. 
Yo, this thing is so fat. Dude, that's a 599. Oh my god. I mean, we got like the slipstream effect there, as you probably noticed, but sheesh. This thing is no joke. So last week, or yeah, I think it was last week or last month, you see what I mean with the breaking of no forgiveness? Um, I just drove the Yesco earlier in the One Rivals. That thing is scary. <laughs> this is not as bad as the Yesco. Now, keep in mind I have no traction control on. Of course, that changes the way cars are going to feel. Everybody pretty much had traction control on that Yesco that I saw on the leaderboard. So no, that was the uh, T50 actually, the Gordon Murray T50. I don't have any assists on though, except for uh, ABS. That's the only assist that I use. And you can see that on the speedometer, which I do like how they don't show the uh, assist that you have turned off. I think that's pretty cool. This thing is insane. I'm enjoying this a lot more than certain electric cars though because there's a lot of them that just don't feel good at all. Like they're fast in a straight line but they're not really like enjoyable, you know what I mean? They're just not fun. Like this thing's actually fun. I'm actually disappointed though because there's people on that board that are faster than me right now but you know the reason is because I don't have any top end here on the street. Like what do they want me to do? Fifteen minute practice. I think I'm gonna do just this one lap here yet, and then we're gonna start moving so we can do the races. Cause I do want to get into the open tour a little bit, and we're not gonna have time to do both, so we'll cut out some of the practices. I really just want to keep doing the practice to get those tires. But what do we just get? A hundred? It's not really gonna help. I need to get at least a couple more levels probably. But thing is, I can't do anything with those levels right now, anyways. It will not change anything. I don't know. Maybe I'll do the whole practice here. Maybe I'll do the whole practice for this one, just for the simple fact that then we'll have the tires for the next couple races. I need to stop doing that. I need to stop doing that. We need... I'm telling you guys, if you put race tires on this thing, it'll be so much more fun. Because there should be a little bit more forgiveness. Easy, easy. I'm trying to push it a little harder, but like you just can't, dude. I don't know if I mentioned this thing weighs 4,400 pounds too, so it's a ton of power, very heavy, all-wheel drive, and it's fully electric. With all that being said, I actually kind of enjoy it though, and I see potential in it because it's just so lightning fast. <laughs> Yeah, I still can't believe that I was muted for the first, like, two minutes of the stream. I'm glad you guys said something and then just let me keep streaming for... Could you imagine just an hour of me thinking I just, like, commentated an entire stream and then I find out the hard way that, like, I was just muted the whole time? <laughs> I couldn't imagine how I'd feel after that. It's like, damn, I literally just wasted my hour. <laughs> and nobody got anything out of it. What's up, the racer? Welcome to the stream. Oh, for sure. So Randy, what the heck, man? We didn't even stream for like, uh, we just hit a half hour. This guy's out already? Thanks for what? I didn't get to show you nothing yet. We're just getting going. <laughs> oh my god, yeah, the Yesco is crazy, dude. Alright, I just want to get to... Once I see that I get to level 6, we'll... Actually, mm, I'm torn, I'm torn. I want to go race, but at the same time... I want these car levels, boys. I want them race tires. And I also have not cleaned up my turning here. We gotta work on a few of these. Damn, you just go flying off of those. Can't turn that early there. Yeah, biggest keys with this car if you use this thing though. Again, just don't break late and take it easy. Can definitely see people sliding off the track like anyone who's playing this in the world right now that's probably not in this stream I guarantee you there's tons of people that are just sliding right off the track and it's not even really because of skill issues it's just the car will not do what you would want it to do that other certain cars would be able to do bone stock 
But other cars would also not be this fast top end. <laughs> this thing's just insane, dude. That acceleration in that straight right there. Like, this is actually a great race for this car, though. I do like Road America that they picked for this. Lots of uh, good straights and just kind of higher speed corners. Because this thing would be miserable on a smaller track. Like, Mugello was pretty good, too, from the rivals that we did to open up this stream. Another world record set by your boy, by the way. 1.4 seconds on the guy in second. Taking care of business. That's what we do around here. There's level 6. I'm going to keep going. We'll do this whole practice. We need cop points. Thing is, I had 500 coming into this. I'm not sure how many I'm going to end up with by the end of this, but... If we can just get to that 1700, that would be phenomenal. So far, we're running faster here. Yo, that slipstream effect is so fun. <laughs> it absolutely torched that guy. Yo, don't you dare. Don't you dare. Do you see how I kind of merged to the left a little bit there just to make sure that guy couldn't get me on the inside because I was not about to let him pass me? If I would have stayed on the outside, he probably would have got on my inside there. That's why those proximity indicators are great. I mean, of course you can hear, but it shows you when they're close, so that was helpful there. I'm trying to get closer to these guys that are uh, in front of me because not in front of me by much well actually that one guy is way in front of me oh actually two of those guys are way in front of me damn I'm trying boys I'm trying doing the best I can at here the biggest thing is as we go along here too the tracks getting a little grippier I don't know if you can notice it but I can kind of somewhat feel it or it just feels a little stickier through some of these corners. My split time is the best too. And we might have a segment personal best here. If we can just get around this corner. I think I'm also just driving a little better. That's part of it. We're really pushing the limits of the car right there. There we go. New segment. We might get into second here on that board. I love how I go floating there. When they see me floating, they hasten. 2019, at least we cracked under the 202s. Another reason I love doing practice, though, just watching my progress. Oh, that guy, I still didn't. Oh, that's right, he was. Or did that guy set a new personal best? I swore it just got to. Damn it. I swore I got there, boys. Yo, the Senna was pretty fun in that Logitech uh, Rivals. I really love that too, how you can't do any tuning or even like fuel or anything. Everyone's in the exact same spec car, top to bottom, because then it's as fair as it can be. Like, I, I really like that. I think I was like top 3,000 out of like the 80,000 that were on that board. Wasn't too bad, but again, I literally just did like maybe 10, 15 runs today. Like, I, I just never got around to doing that, unfortunately. I probably should have put some more time because I probably could have gotten higher. But I had fun with it. It was really an enjoyable event. I'm excited to see what the round two is all about. Where we're going to be going. I'm faster again this lap, but I'm still not where those guys are at. I don't think I will be. I just don't think this car has the potential with the top speed limitation. It's totally soiled this segment, too. This is probably the ugliest I've ran through here so far. What's going on, Rackers? How you doing? And, uh, Mandamar, do you not know me, bro? I will not put Forza Arrow on any car. Let alone this one with the... Active arrow. I got an itch on my nose though, boys. An itch on my nose, I tell ya. This is not a good time for this. We need to get to that straight ASAP. I still have an itch. I still have an itch. No. It's a penalty. Oh, wow. No penalty, boys. Look at that. I was trying to really push it, and I've soiled it. Stop itching! Stop itching! My gosh, I almost went on the grass there trying to steer with one hand. Oh, great. Now this guy and his Panin Farina is going to be right in my way. Oh, is that Forza Arrow? God, that looks disgusting. Yo, get behind me, dude. Get behind me. I don't want to see that. 
Sorry, I don't want to see. Yo, yo, chill, chill, stop. I don't want to get off road. Uh, thought we could get rid of him. I couldn't, dude. I was about to go blind. That looks so bad. I thought at first that it was just the active wing sticking up, and then I realized, no, that is disgusting. <laughs> Ooh, wee. Six minutes left in practice here. We're going to be almost eight. Hope I have enough for tires, but in the race, boys, what do we think? How many points do you think I have? Because I will take off tire width to get the race tires on. 100%. No questions asked. That segment's tough with this car. Damn, I'm going faster right now. I honestly think that I could catch those guys, but... What am I at? 0.7? No, I'm at 0.3 right now. I could definitely do it, but I'd have to have, like... have to be a perfect run. I'm impressed on level 6 that those guys got runs like that, to be honest. Oh, point four. We're close. Think we can get that guy in second? Is there any chance we were coming through there fast enough? Ooh. Yo, that's so close. See, we can definitely do it, boys. All streaks got to come to an end, though, right? I can't just be the world record holder on everything around here. I've never played Gran Turismo. I've just, I just haven't had a PlayStation. I'd play it, I'd try it if I had a PlayStation, but... It doesn't make sense for me to get one just for one game. Maybe I'd try Drive Club. I've heard good things about that, even though it's shut down at this point and probably not what it used to be. Of course, I just soiled this corner. Dang, them! Oh my gosh, dude. This thing is just nuts. You know what? I just might as well try and drift the rest of this one. Let's see, do you think your boy can just drift? Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh my goodness, how did, how did I just do that? Yo, how did I just do that? I actually kept it sideways. <laughs> when they see him slide in, the dirt definitely be hates it. Whoa! Oh my god, the wang is back, no! No, get behind me, please! Oh, my eyes, my eyes! Oh, I actually got something in my eye. Oh, my God. I can't see. It's blinding. It's blinding. It's so hideous. Guys, my eyes, they're burning. Oh, they're burning. Oh, my goodness. Ah, warp speeds. I can't see. <laughs> Get me in front of this guy. Oh, geez. Oh, geez. Oh, geez. No, 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 no. Stay behind me. Stay behind me. Stay behind me. I don't want to see that again. I have some eyesight back, boys. The eyesight's coming back. Whew. That was scary, boys. I thought I was done for a second. Thought I was only gonna be able to see again. They were burning. They were burning up. Damn, I'm nine seconds slower. All right, enough messing around. We gotta get to at least driver level or car level nine here. Did that guy pit? Thank God. Don't have to worry about him again. That wang. I can't believe I almost got blinded. And believe it or not, it wasn't the sun. Who would have thought? Because the sun's pretty bright here, too. Hasn't affected me one bit. 0.285. Yo, I have him. I have that guy. Yo, wait, if I have that guy... Ooh, yo, I have a chance. Boys, we gotta try and get this. We gotta try and swipe it away from them. We must do it. I'm locking in. After a goof off lap. Doesn't seem like it's going well right now, but it, oh no, I lost my 2.2 right there. Damn. Well, damn. Oh, now I soiled it. 
It's just ruined. It's ruined, I tell you. We soiled it. And they see him sliding. <laughs> right back to drifting. Nah, I blew it though. This did not have a good lap there. We're gonna have to take it easy out on the race, because people around us this is not gonna be easy. It's gonna finish this lap and then we'll end the practice. Basically be yep, there we go, nine. Not bad. We should be close to being able to get the tires after the race. We're gonna do whatever we can because we we need the tires. All this sliding that I'm doing will be hopefully no more. Or at least a lot less. One or the other. He might have heard me, Jodine, you're right. He actually might have heard me. Probably realized that I was going faster than him too. <laughs> it's probably like, damn, this wing's really killing me. Alright. Good enough for me. We'll take podium. What's up? How do you even say that? It's not Razor. Rezer? Rezer? It's gotta be Rez. Rezar. Rezar Racing. How you doing? This car is making me thoisty. <laughs> I'd rather have no Forza Arrow, to be honest with you. The heck with the Forza Arrow. You don't need it. Alright. Yep, we're good to go. Nothing that we can do, boys. What do we got here? Four laps at Road America. I'll start in eighth. Because this car is not that great right now. We're going to do the best we can, though. You know. You already know. By the way, if you're just tuning in and you're being one of those lurkers out there, you better smash that subscribe button. Doing good, though, Rezar. Doing good. Wait, is there only eight cars in this? Is that what I just saw? Or did I just like completely miss the whole first segment? There's probably 24, isn't there? Nah, there's 24. Okay. Rolling start makes sense. And uh, Rezar, this has been in the game since launch, but it's spotlighted right now. So it's on a 30% discount and I've actually never driven it yet, so... Oh god, we gotta find a... Gotta find a gap here, boys. Gotta find... I don't have a gap there. We tried, boys. This thing's so much faster. Oh my god! What the heck was that? Yo! I just got absolutely bodied off the track by a Ferrari. What in the world was that? You already know what's about to happen, right? Like, you already know what's happening to that guy when I get back to him? That was just uncalled for, dude. Hey, uh, excuse me. Oh, gee! Oh, jeez! Yo, what is with that guy? I can't even hit him back. <laughs> Yeah, that was so dumb though. Like, what was what was that all about? They're not doing it to me again. They're not doing it to me again. That's all I gotta say. Yo, what the? Oh my gosh. Yo, somebody was talking about how they thought that the drivatars were not driving as well after this update. Um. Yeah. Yeah. Yo, get back here, guy in first place. Get back here right now. That was ridiculous. Not how I was starting, hoping to start on my career mode. See, the thing is that, like, I've had a very good career single player experience. Like, I really have. I do not understand why that happens sometimes. It's like they just don't know you're there or something, or they just don't, like, you know. They don't, how do I put it? They, they, it's just like they don't realize that, that you're there for some reason. I have no idea why that is. But I swear they just don't know that you're there. By the way, this car is so fast in straights, but... Around corners, that guy in first place is just, like, demolishing me. I don't know if you guys have noticed those split times or not. But I'm very upset because I should have been in first, and then I got bodied. I'm not happy about that, boys. I'm not gonna let that go. See, on the straights, I'm gonna catch him a little bit. Do you think I can get him? I mean, we got four laps, like, I just don't know, because by the time I'm going to catch up to him, I feel like the straights are gone. I don't know. We're going to try, though. We'll do everything we can. Definitely going to need more water after this race. It feels hot out here, boys. Come on. Come on. Come on. This is where we got to catch him, on this straight. 
We have a ton of acceleration on him here. I have to get in front of him in one of these straights. That's the only way. We're within a second now, so that was good. Problem is, yeah, see, he's got one of them circuit cars, dude. It can just whip around these corners. So I just got to stay as close as I can, not get rear-ended again. And I'll get him by the fourth straight, I bet you. We're going to try our best. I got to really stay as close to him as possible, though, because if I let him get too far... If the straight's not just, it's just not going to matter, you know what I mean? Like, it's just not going to matter by that point. Damn, he's quick in the corners. Three and a half seconds already. Look at four seconds. He's just whipping around this bends, man. I can't do it. I think we did gain a little bit of ground overall, though. That's the good thing. So we have this straight here. Whoa, 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 Batista, whoa. Dude, he's just ouchy. I don't know, boys. It's going to be tough. You know, I'm going to give it my all, but definitely two totally different cars going head to head here. <laughs> you would think that on these straights that I'd be able to win, but oh, I don't know. He's up to six seconds now. I think he actually gained time on me. And they see him floating. I wish I had more top speed. That's the killer. Three seconds. We gotta hurry. Hmm. If I'm within a second, I'm gonna feel good. If I'm not within a second, I don't know. 1.5. I don't know. Did we actually gain ground overall? I'm really not sure. Can you make a mistake, please, sir? Give me a chance at this, please. Guy's moving. This is a great race, but it's like so imbalanced. <laughs> Oh, come on. There he is, back up to four right away. Hmm. I don't know, boys. Really ain't looking good at here. All because I got rear-ended. They're definitely on the same team or something, dude. Like, he definitely paid them off. That was quite ridiculous. Nah, I definitely gained a second on him there. I definitely did. Because we were at 7 last time, remember? It was like 7.2. I have no clue what he's got. I t oh, geez, this is the final lap already? Yo, I don't know. It's going to come down to this straight right here. If I can't catch him by this straight, it's over. And I don't think I will. He's way too far ahead. I might have best lap. Maybe. Yeah, I'm not getting him. There's just no way. Unless I was to rear-end him. <laughs> Which I'm kind of tempted to do. Oh, I went way too far. No! I got so far. In the end, it didn't even matter. <laughs> Damn, damn it. Uh, I was like in between going to hit him and then not. And I just kind of <laughs> ended up in the middle. <laughs> AK off the track and effing. Damn, damn it. Damn, damn it. Okay, I cannot wait. I better have enough for race tires, dude. That's all I gotta say. I better have enough for those race tires. Yo, is this the guy that hit me? No, he's not. Yo, he's flying. This guy's flying. He's trying, he's trying to come take second from me now. Imagine that. 
This is only level six, boys. <laughs> I'm giving it all I got. Things handling is just not good enough in some of these turns, though. I don't regret what I did, though. Because I really was considering bodying that guy. <laughs> Definitely blaming the tires. <laughs> Hey man, if you tell me I got a skill issue, go beat my rival's time with this thing. Go break that world record. I doubt it's the world record anymore, but... It was. Let's see here. Yo, I did have the fastest time. Look at the times! Two minutes, point five, two point, and then point six, point seven. I mean, we did hella good out there, bro. We did really good. It's just a shame that I got rear-ended in the beginning and thrown off the track. If that didn't happen, I would have gotten first there. Like, let's be honest. I would have had first. Ooh, I'm gonna get him. I'm gonna get- he's lucky he's not in these, uh, top three. <laughs> damn Ferrari. Damn, damn it. 47,000 credits. That's a lot. Basically got... A big chunk back. Now let's see, do we have enough? Ooh, we're going to Mugello, so that's where we did the rivals. So I'm actually very excited for this. Now let me see. Are you serious? 1650? Dude, you need 1700. That is so dumb. I'm just gonna have to take off tire width, but that is so dumb. <laughs> Whatever, there you go. Race tires are on, boys. Now let's see what happens here. We're back down to zero points. That worked out perfect. See, that's why we ran the entire practice right there. That, that's going to be huge here moving forward. So we'll do at least one or two more. Um, right, so that's just an excuse, bro. That's just an excuse. This man's just making excuses. He's talking schmack, but he doesn't want to back it up, you see? See what happens? Whenever see what happens right away? The excuses come out. <laughs> Alright, we'll stick with that. I think that was actually perfect because the lap times were identical. But now we're going to put the soft tire compound on. We're going to get out here and do some practicing. Um, before I do that, though, this, this eagle's glass is empty. It needs to be filled. I'll be right to back, ladies and gentlemen. Right to back. Well, we know things are normal this week. The chair flipped around, unlike last week for some reason it didn't. Not really sure why or how that works, but... We'll do one more, maybe two more of the races here. And we might take a look at the open tour. See what we got going on. Let's do this. Whoop. Oh jeez. Oh jeez. Hey, I thought we are on race tires. I thought we are on race tires. Come on now. Oh yeah, it's definitely grippier. That's what we're looking for. 151. Patrick, thank you so much for subscribing. Yo, the transmission thing though. It's still an issue. Race tires definitely make this thing feel different, that's for sure. I'm really curious what a rate weight reduction would do. Like, how it would make the car feel. Because sometimes, like, weight changes can... You know, like, just the difference in the front versus rear. It can definitely change the feel of a car. It actually feels pretty fine right now. Like, it turns in pretty well. It's just... You know. <laughs> so much power and not quite enough grip to really truly full send it.
Yo, where's Hockenheim, man? Is it not one of the races? Has anyone done more of the, like, gotten further than the second race in this tour? Like, is Hockenheim in here? Because if it's not, we're just going to go to free play, because that was kind of the whole, whole part of my title, is to show off the new Hockenheim, but I figured it would have been the first race here, but apparently not. Not even the second race here. Definitely got to show you guys that track, or maybe it'll be in the open tour. Let's we'll see. Yeah, I I do want to get back on Crew Motorfest. The problem is we have Horizon 5 that has so much going on, then we have Motorsport that has so much going on, and it's just like, man. I do want to play Motorfest again, though. I'm going to make an effort to at some point. How is it? It better be. Can anyone clarify that? Or confirm that? Because if it's not, I don't want to keep playing this. I want to just go show off the new track. Either in free play or I'll take a look at the open tour, see what they had there. Might be in the open tour. There's the Venina. That thing looks beautiful. Geez, somebody put down a 146.4? What the hell? I feel like the Venina is one of the better choices though too because you can actually have that car in R class, so... I think R class would be a lot more balanced than this thing being in the middle of P and being as weird of a car as it is. Yeah, I'm excited for the potential of uh, Solar Crown. I haven't really like seen much about it yet, but... I did see that it has some like painting options and different things, whatever. Something got announced today or revealed or leaked or whatever. I just happened to come across it by accident, but that'll be cool to have another racing game out there, that's for sure. After years and years of like nothing, now we got Horizon 5 we had, and then Motor Fest, Motor Sport, and then potentially Solar Crown. Whoa, my God. You don't think I'd like the PlayStation 5? Or Gran Turismo? Most people have said that they think it's a good game. I think I would enjoy it, honestly. I don't see why I wouldn't, but... Me finding time to actually get into a whole nother game like that, that's where I'm like, eh, uh, maybe? <laughs> I don't know for sure. Alright, we're just gonna do... the required practice lap since we have the tires. That was the biggest thing. And uh, we'll be level 13 then. So I want to get to Hockenheim. Yeah, no, I know I know it's in the game. I just was hoping it was going to be featured with the uh, career, you know what I mean? Figured it would have been part of this. But yeah, it's the rivals with the AMG. We showed that earlier. And then, of course, we can just run it in free play. And I'm sure it's mixed in somewhere. And it's got to be in one of the... Because, you know, there's three or four more tours, so... It's got to be in there somewhere. Where? I don't know. But it's got to be somewhere. Bruh. Oh my god, how does that even happen? I literally did better with this thing stock. <laughs> Damn, damn it. I think it's going to need... Um, well, it's got the one front tire width that I can put back on for sure. But then after that, I'm, I'm wondering if weight reduction will help the car or not. I might even try a ballast and just downgrade it. Because I'm thinking in our class, like heavier, it'll maybe have a little more grip. The problem is it probably won't turn. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I'm enjoying it to an extent. It just, you got to like... I don't know, you just have to, tr you have to try so hard to keep this thing <laughs> from going off. I, like, I had my buddy over earlier and I was playing and he was like, you make this look too easy sometimes and that's probably what you fell victim to, JN. <laughs> I mean, my, look at my times though on the uh, practice leaderboards, like, we're not putting anything good down here. 
I ain't driving bad. I mean, heck, the Venino is probably not even the same PI as me. Thing is, this thing has tons of straight line speed, but on this track, you can't even, you know, go as fast as you need to in the straight. Plus, in the handling corners, it's just not going to be up to par. And it, it's still just like... I mean, you know what it is. Everything's too stiff. <laughs> There's so much power that, because even when I let off and I just turn the car sliding too, so it might be another tuning adjustment we're going to have to make somewhere, but I have to unlock it first and get through this race. I thought so. Did I not put soft tires, or did it not? I thought I did. Yeah. <laughs> I was double checking because I was like, wait, did I? But yep, I did. This is with the softs. It must be like the track temperatures or something. Is this like morning? I didn't even see. Uh, where's the... Where the heck's the information? Where the heck's the information for the event? I just want to know if it's... Do they not show that for practice? Like if it's morning or whatever? I thought they... I mean they do beforehand, I know. I figured you'd be able to see it in the practice, but... Apparently not. We'll just uh, get to level 14 since we're halfway there. Well, no, Tri-State, because then it wouldn't be Horizon. Horizon's not supposed to be this realistic. And I actually love how Horizon feels. I wouldn't want it to have, like, exactly like this. Like, certain things, sure, but not not literally copy and pasted physics. That'd be too much. Some of the dynamics of this, but with that arcade twist to it, still, it'll be perfect. It'll be absolutely perfect. I'm sure they will use this engine for the next Horizon, I mean. It would just make sense for them to. That, dude, this car feels worse. It really does feel worse. It's actually incredible. Like, I'm literally driving it exactly how I have been, and it's just like... Nope. You know what actually I'm thinking about? Hold on a second. I did look at the tuning, but the thing was, I put these tires on... No. I don't think I changed anything, did I? I don't know. Let's just try, like, lowering them a little bit. I don't know if that'll change anything or not. I, Cause remember I adjusted the tire pressures and I actually thought that that did help a little bit. Just so it wouldn't be so, you know. Felt like it was giving out a little too easy. Cause usually different tires will change the tuning back to like default or something. One more segment, then we'll be 14. Then we'll hit the racetrack. I mean, you can tell just by the times, though, because I beat the bonus objective, but look at the lap times that some of these Dravatars are running. Yeah, do you see how close I am? Bruh. Again, almost went off. Jeez. Crazy. Oh, of course, I went off track, so there goes my... Getting to 14. <laughs> oh no, I did get it. There we go. Alright, we'll just hit the straight here, man. As well, since we're about to finish the lap, to finish off this lap here. I think I'm going to try lowering the pressures more, to be honest with you. There we go. We're going to lower the pressures. See if it helps. It's just weird to me that we put on better compound, and yet <laughs> it still almost feels the same. We're gonna try this. See how that does. Damn, it's projecting me to be in seventh. I'm just gonna start in sixth and see if I can get to the front. <laughs> this thing's gonna be, it's gonna be tough. Red mark, what the heck did you just say? Hawken? Hoken? What the heck's that supposed to mean? The Ascenza. <laughs> yeah, you mean if it wasn't realistic and didn't have 1800 horsepower? Okay, bye.
see if I can hold it now. I basically should just stay on the brakes, because by the time I hit the gas, we're already turning again. <laughs> it's like, nope. Beautiful time of day here at Mugello, though. I think what it was too, part of it, could just be me and my driving. Cause you, like I said, you gotta be really careful with this thing. If you're too aggressive, you're just gonna, you're gonna lose it. It's just gonna happen. These guys are really close to me. That's why I was saying if I get in front, then maybe I'll be okay. But if I, if they get in front of me, I don't got any chance. Cause they're just gonna be able to handle me. It's basically keep them behind me, get to the straight, get away from them. And then just keep them behind me through the corners again. That's how this has to go. I do feel like the lower tire pressure is helping on this car. Either that or I'm just a lot more locked in and driving better. Could be a combination of both. Because the higher tire pressure, which those stock pressures were pretty high. Now, of course, the car is heavy and all that. But um, those high pressures can cause you to slide. And just because it's your tires are so overinflated. It can give you responsiveness, but sometimes it's too much. When, especially when you have 1,800 horsepower. What do we got here? Four laps. Four laps. This is going way better than the practice did. <laughs> I can tell you that much. I actually feel like I'm in control a little bit versus the car just doing what it wants to do. So what's the third race? Can anyone confirm what the next race is? So I can kind of come up with a game plan in my head. And that one guy is so fast. He right on me, boys. He putting the pressure on. <laughs> there we go. We're doing all right, boys. Third race is Hockenheim. Thanks, Milan. Appreciate that. Or Milan. How do you say your name? Is it Milan? 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 <laughs> One or the other? Thanks, Red Mark, too. And hey, yeah, Hanson, you guys, hey, you guys had the better day, faux show. You guys deserved the win. We played like absolute crap, fumbling the ball. I mean, we seemed like we didn't want to show up. I don't know why. It was weird. I was expecting a good game, just like our first one was like close down to the wire, you know. This car feels a lot smoother now that I'm definitely understanding the car better after a couple laps. You can probably tell that I'm a lot smoother with it. It's kind of crazy though how like the race it's just like they catch me around the corners and then we hit the straight I break away and then it's just like repeat. 
the cars that are competing against each other do not compare at all. They're just like totally different. Like the Venin the Venino and the Ascenza, like the handling options that you guys saw when we were picking cars for this. Like totally different than what this car is. Kind of an interesting setup of like what you can pick, honestly. Look at he's right on me. The guy's right on me. Okay, bye! <laughs> oh my god. Look at that. He was literally a car length away. And then just like, bye! Hit the straight and ouchie. That's insane, bro. That's like the most fun part of this car though, is just hitting that straight. <laughs> I'm excited to go to Hockenheim though. I've been waiting to show you guys it. So we'll definitely stop playing career after that race and then maybe we'll uh, we'll see where we're at on timing. We're already an hour and 12 minutes into this. We had a 15 minute practice off the first race, so that took up a lot of time. It was needed though, so we could get the parts we wanted. I am going to try weight reduction. I want to see if this car can even get to the top of P-Class. So right now we're only at like, what, 940? I mean, it's going to need a lot of weight reduction, I think, to get to the top. Oh my god, that guy's right on me. Can't give him room to pass, boys. We cannot give him room to pass. <laughs> That's insane. Any straightaway, we're just out. Thing is, though, the speed they can carry through those corners... It's crazy. They have way better brakes and everything. I mean, they're so much lighter, so... Makes sense. Does make sense. Now you see me. <laughs> now you don't. I love the transition, too. Look how it's nighttime now, dude. This game's so beautiful. It really is. It really is beautiful. Damn, I got smoked on the laptop. 146? Bro, how does that even... Oh my god, they're not even like near the top of P either. They're not even, none of them are where I'm at with PI level. That is, that's crazy. Now we're tied up 53 points too. Dude, we're about to throw down on Hockenheim. Let's do this. All right, I want to see if we can put weight reduction. That's my big thing, because if we can do that, we really, well, there it is. We just got it. Hey! Ladies and gentlemen, here it is. The Hockenheim Ring. This is the new track just added with Update 3. We have not played here yet. Nobody's seen it. Um, if you haven't played it yourself yet, at least. So we're going to see what we can do. What does this do? Oh, my God. It barely adds any PI. We're going to try it. What's it do to the weight percentages? Nothing. Yeah, it's definitely the way to go. We're gonna need some PI though. We have 50 PI, so we should be able to put that back on. Yeah, that's perfect. Mm hmm. This might be like a middle of PI car then, or middle of P class car. <laughs> like 950, because we can put the drive line on. That nah, still doesn't post to 50, but what is this rear wing? Yeah, definitely that's just stupid. That actually doesn't look bad. Problem is the stock active arrow wing is not tunable for whatever reason. We can probably put nicer, lighter wheels too. And then, I mean, if you really want to go crazy, you could put a suspension. I don't know if the suspension's necessary or not. It feels pretty good, but we're going to see what the weight reduction does. I have no clue if this is going to help or hurt. <laughs> I have no clue at all, but we're going to find out. We are going to find out, aren't we? Yes, indeed we are. And again, this is literally my first time that we're going to be looking at Hockenheim ring. Yo, this is nice to have this back. I do remember this one faintly. The Hockenheim ring is known for its long, fast straights and tight corners, which means those heavy braking zones will provide many passing opportunities. Passing opportunities. Got it. All right, so we're back on the soft tire compound. Here we go. So we got four laps, three practice. I might do the whole thing. We'll see. Because again, this is the brand new track. I mean, we've never, we've never ran here before. So 
Let's see how we do. I'm probably going to be faster now, too, with the weight reduction. We'll see. Will the car turn better, or will it be crazier? Definitely got to get the tires warmed up. Oh my god, dude, it's turning too good. Holy crap. Weight reduction actually might be really nice. I just need to <laughs> learn that it's going to turn now. We might be on to something. I also just need to learn the track, though. Alright, so this is the starting line right here. There's the Ferris wheel. Jeez, dude. This car rips. And it doesn't break still. Oh my god. With the weight reduction, it still doesn't break? Bruh. Ooh wee. See that turns pretty good though. Like it does turn. Braking's probably the biggest weakness of this car. We definitely want to try and throw on that next level of race weight reduction so we can maybe have some better brakes. This is gonna be one of those weird cars though that will not be at the top of the class, and it's simply because it will not ever have the grip or the handling that other cars will have in P class because well. All electric, all wheel drive, 4,400 pound car, it's just what it is. You know, I just thought of something, actually. There's another upgrade we need to put on. We'll talk about it after this race is over. Just thought of something. Something that might actually be able to fix our issues. I actually, like, as much as it's tough to drive, as you guys know, I do love challenging, like, anything. So, I, I do like this thing. But, man, look, there I go again. And now my next lap's gonna be flagged because of that. Oh, my! What? What? 5.1 for an illegal pass? I'm in practice, Forza. What? What? What, <laughs> what in the world? Yo. That, I think that's the biggest penalty I've ever gotten in this game. <laughs> what? 5.1? Are you out of your mind, Forza? Yo. That's insane. It just slammed me with more penalty time than I think I've ever had combined. <laughs> Jesus. Wow, I beat the objective, though, 138. Yeah, that's wild, though. Who the heck did I even pass? I didn't even see anybody. Was someone coming out of the pits? <laughs> that's funny. Well, since this dude, I gotta stop hugging that inside so much. I'm gonna get. I'm just gonna always be on the inside there. I love swipping through these corners. This is a beautiful track, dude. I love the flow of this. This is actually super nice. Oh, it's probably too late in the lap now. I'm probably gonna. I'd probably get flagged. I was, I was gonna adjust a little bit of tuning, but we'll try and run the third lap here clean. I got an itch. The mustache is itching. Yo, chill, 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 chill. Whew, barely saved it. Damn it, mustache. You see what you have me doing out here? Do you see what you have me doing out here? God, I just cannot break in that corner. This car does not like that corner. This car doesn't like anything. <laughs> it likes straight lines. That's it. I mean, look at it. Look at it when we're in the straight here. Oh my god, the slipstream effect. Stop that. I've got no time for that. Dude, oh my god, why would he turn? That guy slowed down so much. Oh my gosh, this thing is insane. Do you see how quick I accelerate by these other cars? I, I, it's just crazy, dude. I feel like whenever I go back to like a C or B class car now, I'm going to be ruined after driving this thing. Everything's going to feel like I'm walking. <laughs> Oh, 
the third or fourth last corner? Which corner? Is it this corner? Or is it this corner? Is this the one you mean? The one that I keep going on the inside? Or do you mean this corner? Or do you mean this one? <laughs> that, I mean, that's probably the what, second last, the third, and it's probably the one before that then? This corner. Thanks, DG. I know exactly which one you're talking about, because there's definitely no stream delay or anything. <laughs> Come on, man. Turn one, turn ten. What are we talking about here? <laughs> Sachs curve. Alright, I'll look for that. Well, I don't know. I don't even know. I won't, I won't be able to tell the name of it. You know, on your mini-map, they should say... They should have, like, T1, T2. Don't you guys think? Should, do they not have... Is that not an option in the game? Like, on your mini-map, to have, like, it say what each corner is? Like, when you're going around the track, if you look down bottom left, you'll just be able to see, hey, that's turn five, or... Is that not a thing? Or is that a setting that I just don't have on? Oh, did you hear that? Low-speed rumble? That was the first time I heard that. By the way, we haven't looked at cockpit perspective yet. Oh god, that reflection, I can't see. Why is that reflection like that there? That's weird. We don't gotta make no adjustments, man. Yo, do you see that's an electronic screen for adjustments like seating position and suspension? It's crazy. If that's the case, why can't we adjust the suspension? Like, why is that not a stock tunable thing? We saw it right there, it literally said it on the screen. I'm really happy this track's back, though. No, I went too far inside again! Oh, no, I didn't. It didn't... I thought I did. It didn't flag me, though. I'm assuming it's this entire section or something with this section. I don't necessarily see any, like, there... I don't feel any, in, like, inconsistent grip. It's just... This car is just tough, no matter where you go. <laughs> it really is. Alright, I'll get to driver level 19. And then we'll start racing. I think that makes sense. Oh, I'm gonna regret it. Look at this pack of cars here. I'm gonna literally blow by all of them once we get to the street. Almost hit them though. Yeah, just break early with this car, dude, because otherwise you're toast. Okay, bye. Okay, bye. That almost hit me from behind. Why? I knocked that off. 4.4 segment. Damn, I'm trash. This feels a little bit like a race right now. We're in the middle of the big pack. Oh my god, it's the Wang Gang again. Jesus. Hulp! Get him out of here! Come on, we gotta get in front of him. Well, he's got the same car as me, so I'm not gonna be able to catch him. I gotta get in front of this guy. I don't want to hurt your eyes or my eyes. Oh my god, stop breaking for no reason! Yo, 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 chill, 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 Jesus! Chill, 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 chill! Woo! Thought he was gonna sideswipe me, boys. Yeah, you can definitely drift through that section. Look at that. Look at your boy. Look at your boy. Look at your boy. Yo, did you hear those sounds? Woo, 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 woo! Your boy can drift a little bit out here. Who would have thought? Okay, okay. Yeah, look at that dirt. Inherited? You know what the heck with you? Let me inherit my car level 19, please. Come on. No? Oh. One more. One or two more corners. Up, 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 up. Boom. Oh my god, a slither away from 19. Unbelievable. What's up, Gabe? How you doing? Yeah, but the names of the curves only show up when, like, you go through the segment and, like, do something better on that. Like, it doesn't show it every time. But I'm saying on your mini-map, it should say, um, like, T1, T2. Be a lot easier to figure out what's going on or what we're talking about.
All right. There's a couple things we got to do this car after this race, so we're going to see. Really? It's got me in first place? I don't believe that. That's a lie. That's definitely a lie. <laughs> I have not fallen for that. There's three different versions of Hockenheim Ring, too. This is... I'm happy we have this back. This is a great addition, honestly. Very nice track, boys. Enjoying this. Now we just got to figure out this car all the way. We're going to take care of business here. It is, but that's what's fun about it. I just love how it blows by people on straights, because these guys are all in these, like, circuit cars that have no straight line top end, you know? See, right here, I'm going to split the gap, and I'm going to go right in between them. Oh yeah, oh yeah, okay, bye. Oh geez, the brakes, the brakes, the brakes. Wait a minute, was that the guy that hit me? Oh, 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 I'm so sorry. I definitely didn't mean to do that. Okay, bye, damn, a one segment score. That's how they're gonna do me, oh geez, oh geez. Oh geez. Full send it, boys. You remember that Ferrari that rear-ended me though? We were back at Road America. You know, speaking of roads, I want to see Road Atlanta back, man. Where's Road Atlanta? I miss it. I love Road Atlanta. I don't know, but like, I, I get it's tough, but I, I don't know. It feels nice, this car. We're not done yet. We're gonna do. We still gotta put the next level of weight reduction, and then there's one other thing that I think might have a way to help this car. There's no guarantee, but it's something I want to try. The good thing is we'll be level 20, so we should get a lot of car points. I should be able to do everything that I want to do. Honestly, I don't believe that the suspension's an issue because it turns fine. It's just the grip, and there's one thing that I'm thinking about that could contrib could contribute to the lack of grip, aside from just the crazy power. Because we're not really, like, now that we lowered the tire pressures a little, we're not really sliding. It's not like that now. It's just you have to brake in time, but I think the next level of weight reduction will help with the braking. See, I'm, I'm too late again. I just, I gotta brake earlier there, dude. That's not the, I mean, it is the car just having bad -ish brakes, but it's just that it's heavy, but realistically, if I just broke a little earlier, it's not a problem with the car necessarily. It's just a driver issue at this point. Lack of driver ability and awareness. Your boy's trash is basically what I'm summarizing to. At that one corner, at least. I might get some of these other ones, but it's also my first time running here, though, officially. The only thing that I don't like about this car is it is kind of getting a little boring sound-wise. Like, there's just nothing much going on with it. There it is. 500 car points. Level 20. That's what we were looking for, boys. That is what we were looking for. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. All right, break earlier. Just do it. Look at that, boys. Do you see what can happen when the driver actually knows what he's doing a little bit? You see that? I almost blew it out of that corner because I'm not used to carrying so much speed. <laughs> we figured that corner out, but now we got to connect them. Whoa, what the heck was that? I don't understand why the car felt like that there. That hasn't done that in that corner once. Usually comes out of that nice.
Alright, one more lap to try and piece it all together. Can we do it? Or will we fail? Should be level 21 soon. No, 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 no! Really? Really? That's what's gonna happen to me? Oh my gosh, so much for piecing it together. <laughs> It's my worst laugh yet. Oh my gosh, he's right there. He's right on me, boys. Oh my god. Yo, what the heck? I'm getting worse as I go along here. <laughs> it takes so much, like, focus to just drive this thing, so... It's probably mentally draining me. That's why I've been drinking. I've almost done my second glass of water already. <laughs> oh my god, I can't do anything right now. I just can't. Even the active arrow wangs don't help me break. Time for the final upgrades, boys. It's time for those final upgrades. Can't believe I got a 10 segment. <laughs> oh, another one. Look at that. Hey, more car points. There we go. We should basically have this thing right where we want it. So I think we'll do one race. We might do the last one too, we'll see. We'll see what it is, we'll see what's up. We'll see what we got. I don't really think there's a point in me doing the open tour because anything that's gonna be new there. I mean, we can use any car we want, of course, but it's gonna be, you know, starting with C-Class and I'm definitely not gonna have time to play through to unlocking the McLaren here tonight, so we probably will just end up finishing this off. We got three of them done. Hockenheim, though, beautiful track. Just gotta, just gotta bring a little bit grip of your car, cars, a little bit, just a little bit. And uh, yeah, DG, it's not just you. Jan has the same thing. I basically just asked are people more excited to drive this Batista, the discount car, or the Hockenheim Ring track. So, 53 to 47 percent right now is damn close, super super close. But all right. Let's see what we got here, boys. Only 20... Ooh. Catalonia. I do like it here. Um, Alright, so here's what I'm thinking. I mean, the roll cage I haven't even thought of, but that would be interesting. I don't think that's what I want to do, though. Um... I don't know. Maybe I'll consider that, actually. Just trying something new. The ballast? There's no way I would do that. Is that even... What is that? 36. So 13. I don't even think you could get that down into R. Has anyone tried to get this car down into R class? Because I don't even think that's possible. Anyways, though. We're doing that. 960. We have all the best tires on. We could put lighter wheels, I guess, but... I'll go driveline. The other thing that I was thinking about was the differential. I don't know what it looks like stock, so we're going to go look at it. I haven't really paid mind to it, but it's all-wheel drive. And the way that this thing drives, I wouldn't be surprised. I'm going to try to lower this down, too. We'll do... Do that. Just try and lower it down more. So what's the gearing? Oh, yeah. Race transmission wouldn't be such a bad thing. Try and get more top end out of it. Might try and fit that on, but, uh, yeah, differential. Yeah, see, there's a lot of rear bias. I just wonder, maybe putting a rear, or a, well, a race differential on. Tweaking some of those settings might help. Of course, you can try the suspension. I don't think it's a suspension, though. I really don't. I don't think the suspension's bad, the stock suspension, so. I might try it. We'll try the differential. We have enough points for that. And then, wheel-wise... They're not horrible, but I don't necessarily love them. Is anything lighter? That's really the question. Like, is any of the wheels lighter? No. See, I don't want to put heavier wheels on. Doesn't look like anything's... There's some wheels that are the same. Hmm. Into Westing. Apparently that makes some of the stats better. I don't know how that would be.
Are any of these other ones gonna keep it the same? Nope. Alright, we'll just keep stock wheels, I guess, then. So let's try that. I'm, I'm like, considering... The chassis, maybe. Mm, pretty much have everything else that we would use. I think we'll start with what we got here and go from there. So the only thing now we should have is this. Now, I'm just thinking, if we put that down a little bit, put this down a little bit, put this down, then I don't even remember where this was, definitely. Definitely a little lower there, but let's just see if taking away some of that rear bias will help with the grip. Because obviously with so much power and, what was it, 70% going rear, it's kind of a rear-wheel drive type uh, 1800 horsepower car. So, there's no race transmission. No wonder I didn't even, like, think about it because it's not even listed there. Damn it, man. Damn it. And, uh, Eddie, it's what we just raced on, the Hockenheim ring. Or the one that we just finished, not the one we're doing now. The one we're doing now is Catalunya. Which I love this track, so. Is notorious for high G force directional changes due to downhill and off camber turns, which require minimal braking and consistent speed. Alright, let's see what we got here. Let's see if we can do this. We're just gonna run the required practice laps because we already have all the upgrades. It's really just about seeing how this car feels. If I don't think this is like better, I'm just gonna try the chassis honestly and we'll see what happens with the car like this but I'm assuming that it would feel better now we'll see let's get it moving a little bit here hmm <laughs> let's get the tires warmed up now we'll start judging it there's no way to change the top speed huh it's crazy Alright, I need to adjust something with the D cell now, because that is not feeling right. Then honestly too. Put these back up. So to make sure we still have enough responsiveness, but just not over excessive. See how it feel. Whoa. This is a flagged lap now anyway, so I'm not worried about it. Problem is I still I still can't get on the gas. <laughs> no, if it's still the same way. Oh my gosh, dude, it won't stop. It just won't stop. <laughs> it just wouldn't stop. Oh my god. Here, hold on. We're gonna we're gonna go back to that a little bit. I think we might need to try the roll cage, honestly. Let's try lowering this down even more. Cause it's still I don't think anything will fix it, but I'm just hoping it'll help, you know. If you can just limit the wheel spin a little bit. To get to be a little more responsive then. I might even try the uh, sport differential because I feel like overall the stock felt better. I'm just trying to see if we can get more grip under this thing. But so far it's really not making a difference in terms of that. Oh my gosh, dude. <laughs> Once it grabs over there, it just pulls ya. I gotta get used to this track too though because there's some... Very technical corners here and just so much power. Yeah, no, we're still... Still the same thing. Differential's not the answer, boys. We're gonna... We're probably just gonna take the differential off, honestly. Dude, I'm... <laughs> I'm actually doing worse now. I don't even like the feel of the car. Here, we're just gonna exit. We're gonna... Or hold on, can I... No. Just gonna exit. I wanna rebuild. I wanna try putting the chassis in there. I actually enjoyed the old feel. It was fine. <laughs> Good enough for me, but this feel now, nah. Definitely not. Now let's go right back in. We're gonna try this. I'm not gonna do the ballast. For now, we're gonna leave all that. Tires are the best we got. Wheels are fine. I wonder if just putting the sport differential on, maybe we'll try that, actually. And then, yeah, definitely not doing the arrow. Let's see what we come up with here. 
See if we can make it feel a little better. Oh, so this doesn't even unlock the center diff? Mm, I think we'll just go back to the stock then. I thought it would do... I thought it would do that, to be honest with you. I forgot that does not. On the all-wheel drive cars, because it, it feels good, it's just you gotta have a lot more throttle control, but again, it didn't really help at all to not have that. Well, let's see what the chassis does for us, though, because that's an upgrade I usually don't use, because adding weight is something I never like to do, but with a car like this, it might actually be... Might actually be something. Milestone. Wait a second here. It's been over a month since you played, really? Hmm. Has it been that long? Sounds good, Gabe. You have a good night, sir. What's the uh, milestone? What do we got? Alright, let's try again. Let's see if it feels better. This is probably the first vehicle in this game that I'm trying a roll cage, actually, so... Yeah, see, that feels... about what I was expecting it to. It's weird how I hit 220 and then it just kind of lowers the speed almost. It's like it wants to keep going and it's like, oh, no, forgot we're, we're limited to this. Just giving you a little tease. Oh boy. I think you got bo bored of motorsport. I think you got addicted to Modern Warfare 3. <laughs> I think it would be the better way to explain it. What's up, Zaydan? How you doing? Yo, Midnight Club Los Angeles, we definitely gotta get back on there. Faux show, 2024. Okay, I'm coming to the realization that this car is just not nice on this track. I blame the track. The car does not like this track, dude. Because <laughs> it, it felt fine at Hockenheim and it felt pretty decent at Road America and some of the other ones. This one, it's like, hell no. It's just not vibing with this track at all. Fifteen months? You missed it by three whole months? <laughs> Damn. Well, the next one's at two years, so nine months. Mark your calendar. I think we can hit that. Ob oh, we did hit the objective. Now we got to do it without flagging our time, though. Can we do that? That's the question. Oh my gosh, people are slaughtering my time. I can't wait to see Jan's comments about this car in the Discord. <laughs> the Panini's for the Panini's trash, man. <laughs> uh. now, like I said, I enjoy challenging cars, but like I've said many times in Horizon and Motorsport, like certain cars are better on certain tracks. This is just not a track that this car flows with. We're getting a little better here, though. Second lap's way better than the first. We're actually driving it smooth. What you mean, in a while? Oh, I, I read the wrong comment. Somebody else said while. <laughs> well, it's only been maybe a week since you played Modern Warfare 3, because you've definitely been on that a lot lately. Yeah, but Jan, you know that when somebody else brings up the car that you're going to have to say it again. <laughs> Don't you even try and fool that. Don't you try and be slick. <laughs> Oh yeah, we're faster by a second. We got this, boys. We're good. We're locking in. Uh, the I'm not gonna lie, though. The reinforcement does not make me feel like the car feels worse by any means. So I'm probably gonna leave this. 
Adds a little weight, but does it really matter? No. Hey, you don't have to bite your tongue, Jan. You can share your opinion. I totally understand why people would say this thing sucks, because it's definitely not easy to drive at all. It takes an extreme amount of focus. Like, I'm probably going to need to go take a nap after this. Because <laughs> you cannot, like, not focus at any... Even on the straights, you can't focus, because the straights end so quickly because of the way this thing accelerates. You don't get a chance to... Look, man, I didn't even have a chance on this little section to itch my mustache, which is itching me again. Itching. Itching. <laughs> Yo, why is my mustache like this right now? Oh, it's so itchy. I could hit start and pause, but I'm trying to nail this third lap first and just get to the race. Whoa, 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 whoa. My Atlanta. Yo, we're almost tied for times. Here's some competitive practice runs here. Look at all the 142s. Yo, stay in the lane, stay. Oh my gosh, he just passed me. You gotta be kidding me. Damn, damn it. And I'm running slower, so that's not good. We gotta beat him. We gotta beat that guy. Oh, 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 come on. Come on, give me it. Give me it. I think I gotta run one more and take that guy down. And then somebody else is gonna be faster than him, and then I'm gonna be here all night, but it's fine. That's why we play. So we can take down all these punky dr punk drive guitars. <laughs> <laughs> that was a hilarious sound, actually. I'm faster right now, boys. You see that point three something? We're doing it. We're really doing this thing. Running a really nice lap here. The grip setting in on the track. Yo, these guys are going to get in my way, and I'm going to be so angry. Dude! Why are you breaking? All right, I'm done. I'm not even, nope. Nope, I'm not dealing with them for another lap. <laughs> we knew that we could do it. We knew that we could do it. That man just brake checked me for no particular reason and I really needed to itch my mustache, so. <laughs> Any way I could get out of that, I was gonna do it. Damn, damn it. All right, we'll get him on the race, boys. Definitely getting him on the race. Yo, the rolling start. You already know we're going to full send it. We're going to get in front of him because it's going to be that super long straight. Let's do it. Yeah, I need to get some beard oil up in this mustache right now. Get rid of this itching. All right, what's the plan here, boys? Left or middle? Not right. Middle. Gotta keep moving. Shooting up the gap. We're trying it. Oh, God. Oh, jeez. Do I have room? Oh, oh. That's all right. Rubbing's racing. Okay, bye. I ain't dealing with these guys the whole way. So you already know it's going to happen. They're going to catch me on the... going to catch me on the corners. We got four laps here. We're going to go ahead and just finish this featured tour. We only got one more, so I feel like we just kind of have to at this point. Just wouldn't be right to not be letting you guys down. That'll be the end of the stream then, probably. We had to ran the new rivals, the ones weak limited. Showed you the two discounted cars, including the VIP one. This tr track really needs more grip, man. It actually looks pretty slick, too. It even looks slick. <laughs> Gotta get some more... Uh, Rubber down on here. Sheesh. Practice was definitely grippier. Might be the time of day or the temperatures too, though. You never know. That's the thing. There's so many factors that like you don't even like always think about that can change the way your car feels. And this game nails that stuff down to a T, so it's like... You never know anymore, man. You never know. 
<laughs> that is true, DG. That is true. Oh, ooh. Wait, did it flag me? <laughs> it says current lap has a flag. Oh, uh, no, that was from when I bumped the guy in the beginning, though. The side swipe. I really wish this thing could just go, like, 240, dude. So we could just actually, like, hit the full potential on the straights. Like, it's so dumb that it's limited to... What was it, 217, it seems like? It hits 220, and then it kind of bounces back down to, like, 218, 217. It just doesn't want to listen, man. Just does not want to listen. Puts down some pretty clean drifts, though. So, uh, for everyone in the chat that's watching, if you've driven this car in the game, do you like it or do you not like it? The Panin Farina, Batista. I'm gonna give it a 6 out of 10. I like it, but I just can't stand how meticulously you have to drive it for it to actually be, you know, reasonably viable. <laughs> and I like the look of it. I like the active arrow. And it's so fast in the straights, it's like so fun just whipping by people. But the lack of grip, and just how focus like it, it, this thing is just like crazy man the second you even take your eyes off it's like damn that's a good way of putting it beautiful but not for me not a car that i like to drive inside this game i like that i like that for me i'm gonna get it to level 50 and i'm probably never gonna touch it again honestly because there's so many other cars i prefer driving <laughs> And to be honest, like, I've been spending most of my time in, like, A or lower. Like, I really enjoy those classes. This has been fun, but I just prefer, like, more... You guys know me. I'm a Horizon player, so I perform more street cars and street legal cars and stuff like that more so than track cars. Which I'm assuming this is a street legal car again because of the top speed limitation. I could be wrong, but... Not that you'd really ever see any of these out on a real street, probably, but... It is discounted right now, though. 30%. So is the Apollo. The Apollo is the VIP discounted car, so you'll still see that for about 34 more days. And we are halfway to 50 already. Level 25 there. Yeah, well, I mean, we won't see it, though. <laughs> but yeah, I'm sure some people have it over there. You always see everything in London, I feel like. I will say this though, it can beat driver level, or uh, tier 6 drivers, difficulty level 6 drivers. Drive -tars. I, I just, I wouldn't put the 7 because there's no way I would win. I mean, even with the distance we get on straights, you guys say, oh, I just broke way too late. Way too late. <laughs> I knew what I did too. Oh my gosh, see, well, that's the thing, man. Like, there's no forgiveness. Just broke a little too late. Soiled it. Now I feel like doing is drifting, but I better not do this because uh, those circuit cars are going to come get me. <laughs> They're ready within two seconds. <laughs> After that nice three laps I did, you know. All it takes is one little tiny error to completely throw you off. I do always say that though, don't I? All it takes is one mistake. It'll cost you. Oh my god, is that Duffy? It can't be. It can't be. How you doing? The other thing too, it's just so quiet, man. So quiet. 
Like, this stream's probably more boring than the last one because last week we were ripping around that gorgeous T50. And that thing sounded so good. <laughs> that Gordon Murray, man, I enjoyed that thing. Oh, yes, I did. Not horrible. Definitely could have been better. We'll take it. We'll take it. 20 of them in the USA. Well, well done. We finished P probably not many. Wow, Jan actually agreed with my 6 out of 10. I thought he would have been like 3 out of 10. <laughs> Alright, we got one more race though in the Italian Ingenuity. Again, this is the new featured tour that just went active and live 2 hours and 7 minutes ago. We're about to finish up the fifth race. We're going to show you guys the rivals and the discounted cars for the week. In case you came in here late. We hit that world record earlier. Oh, okay. Now this is what this car should be on. My only issue is the top speed again. Like, why can we not put a race transmission in this thing and adjust the final drive at least? Like, It's kind of dumb, ain't it, boys? Ain't that kind of dumb that there's no transmission? Yeah, I mean, there's literally nothing else that I put in this car. So this is what it is, 960p class. This is pretty much the potential of it. I'm going to go get some of that water. We're going to need some of that. We're about to hit two hours into the stream, third glass of water. Sweating out here, going 220, trying to handle this monster with 1,800 horsepower. The two chicanes in the Molson straight were installed to lower everyone's overall straight line speed, but neither will ruin your lap times if you focus on your entry point so you can exit quickly. Guys, the chair's broken again. <laughs> what? It didn't spin around. I can't believe it. I cannot believe this. But hey, it is what it is. It's kind of a good thing, I suppose. But All right, definitely on the softs. Back to 5%. What is it? One practice lap and then two laps. Okay. Let's do this, boys. Let's do this. Oh, it feels pretty nice here, boys. It feels pretty nice here. Are we ready for this? Hold on, I gotta the chat back. Um, Duffy, no. Um, I've never been as into motorsport as Horizon. Horizon's still my favorite, but this new motorsport, I love the physics of it, and I just love racing on it, so. We've been playing this a little bit, too. We do a lot of member hangouts. A lot of members have been enjoying this too, so where we do a lot of our racing, but I still I still play Horizon. It's kind of like 50-50. Horizon might even be more like 60-40 again right now, just because we've had so many good updates, lots of new cars, all that stuff. But yeah, see, this is a good track for this car though, man. It lets this car just rip like it wants to. Like I said, man, every car is going to do better on different tracks. Some will not like certain tracks. Catalonia was not for this thing. I feel so much better already. Just this first section here, this practice. And there's so many straights here. I mean, the only limitation, though, is the 217. Because we're going to be going 217 pretty quick. And that's going to be very upsetting. Look at this. Look, we're already going to top speed. Dude. Oh, my God. <laughs> Forza, you need to add a race transmission to this car. Just so you can tune the final drive. I, I mean, there is no reason we should be maxing out like this. That is so silly. Especially if you're going to have a send to Le Mans like this. I mean, come on. We could have been going like 280 right there. Easy. If you agree with me, you better say so in the chat. Maybe they'll see this and be like, you know, he's right. That's just not right. 215 on the straight like this. I mean, come on. Come on, Forza. 
What were you thinking? Less... Um... Whatever the heck this car's name is, I can't remember. Panini Farini. <laughs> Batisti. <laughs> Whatever, they, unless they may were like. But see how it goes up to like 220 and then it drops back down to like. Oh, I found a hack, boys. You see that? When you let off and then get back on, it actually get, boosts you back up to 220. That's interesting. If you stay on the gas, it just bounces off and stays at like 215. But look how quick I'm going to hit 220 again. But look. If we can do it on the straight here. So 220, then it goes down. But then if you let off a little bit. See that? You see that? I let off and then get back on. Oh my gosh, that's definitely a huge penalty for cutting that. Wow, no penalty, okay. I thought for sure it was a penalty. But you see that, though? That's a little hack, I guess. <laughs> Whatever you want to call it. <laughs> Not really a hack, just a strategy. I don't know if that's supposed to be a thing, though. It's kind of weird, isn't it? How it just goes faster. Slows down to 215, then it goes a little, little faster. Oh my god. Woo! Turbo boost! Jesus, man. See, that's an incredible feeling, though, doing that to certain cars. You're just, like, flying, and all of a sudden you just pass guys that looks like you're going double their speed when realistically, like, they're going pretty damn fast themselves. Yeah, I love this car at this track, though. This is my favorite experience so far. This thing feels great here. Still got to be easy with it through the cornering sections, but it's just a nice open high-speed track and it just allows you to really get to experience what this car can do aside from the top speed limitation. That is not cool at all, Forza. I was supposed to hit 342 and I'm going to hit what? Oh, it's going to be close actually with these corners here. What are we going to hit, Forza? What are we going to do? Of course it's flagged because I went off, but not bad. Look at that. 342 and I went 335. Yeah, this thing's nice here, boys. We're definitely not doing 20 minutes of practice. Let's finish this. Now that's pretty cool, Tri-State. That is pretty cool. Oh yeah. <laughs> no, <they're laughs> what, do you think I uh, swapped the engine out or something? Come on, Eddie. Now you would truly be crazy if you thought that. But alright, let me make sure this is good to go. Yes, it is. And alright, let's do it. We got two laps here. Great racing! Nah. Um, I'll start in... I mean, this is all speed. I'm going to start in 10th. I definitely want to get in front of them. You know that little uh, split in the gap method. Oh, yeah. That's what I'm saying, Eddie. Like, see, I love cars that are challenging. When they're too easy to drive, sure, they're fun. But sometimes, like, mastering a car that you have to actually put effort into, it can be fun. Like, I've enjoyed this thing. It's just that... Certain tracks it's not good for, and I do not like how my speed's limited because there's no reason I shouldn't be able to adjust that top speed. What are you doing, bro? Uh-oh. Where are we going? Left's outside. Don't touch the grass. Whoa, whoa. Hey, 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 hey. Chill, bro. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, my gosh. The slipstream effect. And oh, they're bumping each other. Oh, my goodness. Oh, sorry. Did I do that? Oh, no, 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 no. Oh my gosh, I held it. Boys, how did I just do that? How did I just keep it on the track? Who is he? Who is he? How the heck? I don't... Bro. I should. I swore I was going flying off the track there, dude. <laughs> I really did. I swore I was going flying. I can't wait to hit 220 miles per hour in one second. I'd be bouncing when they see me bouncing. They hating. Oh, it's not working now. Oh, there we go. It wasn't letting me do the trick, boys. Oh, God. I got a break. I got a break. I got a break. I didn't see. Oh, my God. Oh. <laughs> I was trying to do the trick. That's a huge penalty. Wow. Only 0.5 for that. Ha, ha, ha. Oh my god. I was trying to, I was looking down at my speedometer, as I'm sure you could tell, and I was just trying to keep hitting the 220. And it got way too late. <laughs> Alright, we're not falling for that again. Nice try, Forza. It's all part of their plans to make you forget that you have to turn here. 
It's a good thing they gave us this track at least though, because you, could you imagine if we had to go 215 the entire straightaway with those two turns not being there? Could you imagine? Oh, I ain't worried about that penalty. We're still going to win this. Those people have no chance on this track. <laughs> I lose. I get third place because of two people point four behind me. That would definitely be something that would happen too. Yeah, definitely uh, go drive this thing at Le Mans. Super fun here. Super fun. I love it. Hockenheim's beautiful, dude. I'm actually excited to bring, like, other cars there, you know? Like, actual normal track cars that aren't 1800 horsepower electric cars. <laughs> we'll definitely be running that during some member hangouts this week. And, uh, I will get my rest of my week schedule out now. Now that my schedule's a little more normal, I had to kind of play by ear a lot at the beginning of this week because of that uh, Lamborghini 60th digital parade event thing because there was still a lot of stuff I had to take care of with that and it's still not 100% complete but we're very close now so very excited for all that and can't wait to see what they come up with on their end at the end uh, for all their social medias it's an honor to be a part of that and really happy that we got to have a lot of you guys from the community in with me too I'm sure some of you guys are here watching right now Got a lot going on this week, though. Mo new motorsport update. Horizon's crazy with the new playlist and the Secret Santa. I want to play the Crew Motorfest. Then I've also been enjoying going back in some old Call of Duties, as you might have seen in the server yesterday. Played some of that Black Ops 3, but all right, now we got to have a clean lap here. Gotta be a clean lap, boys. Gotta be a clean lap. Can't be going off the track again. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Just did the same thing. Oh, I almost went off right there, too. This thing's gotta chill, bro. You gotta chill. Come on, Panini. Come on. Hey, yeah. Are you guys ready to go 220 in three seconds again? And then just be bouncing. When they see me bouncing, they hating. There we go, boys. Look at that. Look at that, just like it was intended to do. Now we're going to try and hit that 220 again. There we go. Beautiful. We should be faster for sure because, I mean, yeah, we cut the corner, but we like dead stop too, so. It is a beautiful car though, ladies and gentlemen. Nobody can argue with that. Oh my gosh, I almost went too far over there. That would have sucked, bro. Whoa, 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 why? Come on, man. Brakes suck. No, 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 no. Don't you lose it. 
We've done too well here to lose it now. These guys never had a chance, damn, 15 seconds. It just shows you how much better this car is here than the other tracks, too. In case me saying it's not enough proof. I didn't do that to those guys on these other tracks that we were on. Not even close. No, 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 stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Oh my gosh, stop it. Just go. <laughs> Jesus. Soiled it. <laughs> Man. And Adafi, if you're not a member, you can't check your membership status because there's not one that exists. But you can go to my channel like, and go to the membership tab and just like see the information there. See what the memberships offer and the perks. And I don't know if it would show history if you used to be a member, but that's about it. Alright. That would be your Italian... Ingenuity, the new Hockenheim ring, and the crazy Batista that has literally no forgiveness to it. 1800 horsepower, and it's just crazy. But that is your first contemporary tour. Again, this is part of update three. Next week, we'll be back on Wednesday to do the hybrid ferocity. Pretty excited for that one. That's, that's a beautiful picture they got there, too, with the 296 GTB. We're going to hop into that, and then the eventual reward, again, we're going to be streaming every Wednesday this month for the next month ahead. Right when these unlock, we're going to do all the races for the career events, and then eventually we're going to unlock that new be beautiful Pagani over there. So that is that. Don't forget there's a new open tour as well. You're only going to have about four or five weeks to complete all these to unlock another new exclusive car, which is that McLaren 650S. And... That is all. Just one more time, we'll go to the buy cars to show you the two new ones. We did not buy the Apollo. That is the VIP discounted car, 30% off. And then we just drove this Automobili Pinin Ferlini Batista. Crazy, man. That thing is insane. But it was a lot of fun. It was a great challenge. Hope you guys enjoyed me using it. And believe it or not, 54% of you voted for that over Hockenheim. I'm actually kind of surprised because Hockenheim's a beautiful track. But... Thank you guys all so much for the support. Thank you for smacking up that like button and watching the stream. I'll catch you guys all next week. And until next time, uh, we'll probably see you guys tomorrow for some Horizon stuff. Especially if you're a member, we'll definitely be doing a hangout for the new playlist. But until next time, 